In the early days of the arcade, there was a game known quite simply as Asteroids. This is the remarkable story of the utterly certifiable Skipper Pat, his ghostly first mate Jason, and the mysterious and always ambitious fourth mate Miles. This is the SS Triangle. Brush, 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 see my teeth. Brush, 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 brush. Those who brush their pearly white teeth will never suffer spontaneous combustion in their sleep. My mother has always been quite the boat, and she made delicious cupcakes. Oh boy, a puppy! A taquito breed, if I'm not mistaken. Like Hachiko, the legend and lore. I will name you Fufu McGillicuddy, and we will be ever so happy. I will teach him how to chase fire hydrants, pee on cats, and how to code visual basic and C sharp. Well, maybe I'll get somebody else to do that. I'm not very good at that. I'm going to show my underlings our brand new friend. Come on, little guy. It's okay. Well, no, no, it's not. Wait, I mean, yes, it is. Let's go. First mate, Jason. The mysterious poltergeist of legend and lore. Finding the evils. Ah! What's that? Take a look at my new bearded dragon friend. And he's so adorable. His name is Wendy McDonald's. His middle name's Burger King. That appears to be a very large and probably extremely dangerous spider. Where did it come from? From the nightmares of tormented fourth graders. Why did you do this to me, Miss McKillicotty? What? I taught him how to eat people. I, I mean cake. Yes, that's what I meant. I meant cake. Aren't you afraid that he might attempt to ingest you and masticate your fleshy exterior? I hope you don't kiss your mother with that mouth. Ah, oh, what's in the name of the asteroid belt is that creature doing aboard this ship? Jason, is this your doing? Honestly, I mean, what? I mean, come on. Seriously. <laughs> it's the skipper. It's Skipper Pat. He's the one to blame. Mayhaps I be, but he's so cuddly. I'll feed him another cake. Chocolate cake. I need people. Patrick, what in the green places are you doing? You wouldn't tell. You're mad. Yes, I would. Oh, wait. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I bet cake. I'm to the fridge. I may be just a floating poltergeist with a PhD in advanced astrophysics, but I can pretty much assure you that this is no ordinary creature. My best guess is that this is a kumanga, or diminutive relative thereof. A spider kaiju from Sogal Island in the South Pacific, if I am not mistaken. What is she doing here? Enjoying a leisurely vacation among the stars. We have to explain everything to you. Fetch him where you're Pina colada. Yes, sir. We've developed a telepathic bond, much like the one Jason has with ham and cheese sandwiches. Ham mm. and cheese. Mm. Did I say ham and cheese? Honestly, I may just be a first grade dropout who worked as a skipper of a local fast food seafood franchise on the Jersey Coast prior to the horrible computer glitch of the summer being aboard the top secret mission pilot of a two dimensional triangle to destroy asteroids for no apparent reason. <laughs> Wait, uh, what? Look, he's eating the floor panels. Oh, he made his way to the electrical panel. Yes, now we can have disco. Now he's playing with it, with his mouth, like a bowl of spaghetti. And the lights are now flickering, and now it's completely dark. I'm frightened beyond rational thought. Ooh, I feel very hard. Miles, is that you? Absolutely not! <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy recalibrating the asteroid detectors. Perhaps you should wait until later to infuriate me. I got a pair me. of shine white pants. That's news. Wouldn't you agree that the shininess of my pants is directly proportional to the awesomeness of my authority? 
No, oh, baby! I look upon my wonder of leggy attire. And furthermore, those who lick at my shiny pants... In due time, in due time, I will usurp the authority of this. Man who this out I don't even know what it is. Lay my place as skipper of this vessel. Only a short while left. 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 Only a do it a jig. Four days later. Hey! What did I tell you about thinking while I'm talking? When did you stop making sense? I can't remember back that far. Kumanga! Seize this insolence to burden it. You'll never get away with this! Get, get away, get away with what? Later on that night, Pat was visited by a ghost. Which isn't incredibly out of the ordinary, mind you. Skipper Pets, wake up. Ah! Ghost Godzilla? I thought you were dead. I am. Oh, alright. Well, tell me, fellow spirit, why are you here? Is it because our vessel lacks Firefuck Newton? Just give me the word and I'll make this vessel absolutely splendiferal! I'm here to tell you that your shiny pants are haunted. Haunted? Can I get that out and dry cleaning? No, not unless you pay extra. Your pants are haunted with the ghost of me. Oh, okay. So that sounds cool, actually. Were you like an evil wizard who found a pair of shiny pants and turned them into a horcrux? Did you hide them in a fucky cave with a bunch of zombie guards? Because that's where I think I found them. After I fell down a manhole cover and met a wizard and he said, Hey, where are these pants? Fifteen minutes later. I said, I don't want to wear no pants. Please destroy your pants and set me free. But you're so cool. With my faithful companion, Kumunga. <laughs> and my new faithful companion, you. We'll make an unstoppable team! We can ride any rock! We can climb any stone! Give the pants to me! But they're keeping me warm and they're so shiny! No! My Horcrux fans! Why would you do this to me, Ghost Godzilla? Why? I trusted you with my pants not to get them dry clean and you got them circled instead. Because I'm not Ghost Godzilla at all. I'm... Jason! My poltergeist first mate? Why would you take my pants? This is a violation of trust and personal property and awesomeness and cheese doodles. And why would you do such a thing? I trusted you! Because you stole them from me. I did not steal them from you. Oh wait, yes I did. That's right! Yeah, my bad. Why did you throw them out the window if they were yours? For dramatic effect. I wonder where they are right now. Hmm, I wonder if they sell five sandwiches for five dollars at Arby's. Those beef and cheddars with bacon, oh, they're so good. It's almost like rainbow twizzlers in my mouth. Wait, that's a good idea. I should make Arby's with rainbow twizzlers on top. Then they wouldn't be such a boring, monotonous pink color. They'd be rainbow, and there would be twizzlers in them. Twizzlers! I like twizzlers! I think I'll have some now. Uh, yeah, twizzlers. Uh. Excuse me. I got mildly distracted by Twizzlers. Give me some I narrator. like Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Because you're not worth it, but you like to pretend you are. Meow, chicka, wow, wow. Go ahead. Just give me the word, and I'll make this vessel as. Just give me the. I did it the first time. Why were you recording that? I know, it's a hard one. It's a couple. Like Quit, I'm gonna get my trailer. I've only got three lines for you to read. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Abs. Abso Abso splendiferal. Abso splendiferal. Abso splendiferal. Right, one more time. Abso splendiferal. Abso splendiferal. Abso. Abs. <laughs> Abso splendiferal. This isn't working with my bad motor skills. That's okay. Abs. Abso splendiferal. Abso. Splendiferal. Abso this is totally going in the bloopers. I really need to do a blooper track because this is hilarious. Abso splendor beautiful. Abso splendiferal. Abso splendiferal. Abso. Jason, stop talking. No, it's gone. Abso splendiferal. Abso splendiferal. No! <laughs> you were one <laughs> syllable away. It was just one syllable away from being perfect. Absolutific. Super callous to get behind. It says just... right here, abso splendid fernal. It says abso Abso ab absolutely. Abso splendiferal. Abso splendiferal. Abso splendiferal. Abso splendiferal. I like. <laughs> 
Absospondifrill. No, I was laughing. Absospondifrill. Absospondifrill. Abso. Ab. Oh, 